welcome back this is my uh, community tank I am moving some of the fish into that 29 gallon uh, it would just be some of the mollies including the black moor the shabunkin or shabunkin however you pronounce it is right here she's been pretty fatty so she's probably gonna stay in here just because she's a single common likes to speed around and such I have a 125 gallon sponge filter. Uh, the original plan for this was actually to connect a, a power head so it would quickly filter everything and um, it didn't work out. It was too strong of a current so I'm probably going to save that for something else later in the future. As you can see they're kind of gathering up because they associated me for food. So. All of these plants uh, I had gotten from Petco. Uh, some of them are doing doing okay, some of them are not. I'm just pretty much letting them grow out how nature intends, if that makes sense. So I uh, apologize if that bothers you. Uh, some of these I left out of the substrate just so I wanted to see how root system would grow if they would attach themselves to the substrate uh, some of them actually well, the kambambe I believe it's called um, is still floating and even some are growing right by the the sponge filter this one is my proud little 10 gallon so this one is uh, gonna be my freshwater crab one uh, you noticed all sides are uh, painted I like the idea of just uh, painting something or painting the background and the sides and just only able to see the front view of it uh, just a trend I saw on uh, YouTube so I just want to be able to imitate that in my own way but yeah these are my tanks this is just the end of part two. Remember, he's moving into his own space. He's about that big. He's very active, so nothing wrong with him. And if you guys have any questions, whoever watches this, uh, if you have any questions or want to discuss anything, let me know. I'd be happy to talk. Bye.